So Inkscape 1.2 was released about a month ago. I haven't made a video on it because there's really not all that much that has changed. So I'm going to tie this little bit that has changed in 1.2 as far as Ink Stitch goes into showing you my layout. Recently was asked, how do I get the layout and the tools that I have on the right hand side? So this is Inkscape 1.2. A lot of really nice changes in here, actually, but not too many dealing with Ink Stitch. There is a the biggest change was now it uses you can make multiple pages in a document. Doesn't really do anything for Ink Stitch. Really, the only thing that really changed for Ink Stitch was the layers and objects. If you, I'm going to remove this layers and objects. Actually, I'll just remove all of it. If I go to layer, layer and objects. Now it says layers and objects right here. If I go to objects, layers and objects, it's the same tool. It's the exact same tool. So that will keep people from mixing up when i'm talking about layers which i'm always talking about layers but i'm talking about object layers now they're one and the same so if you make something here something here something here i will be working with these objects instead of working with layers but it'll be you know don't let's see add layer switch to layer views only you don't want to do that now all the objects are gone. So if if you select layers and objects and you don't see your your objects in here, it's probably because that is that is active, which is show layers only. So uncheck that. There's all your objects, all in one nice place. Now that was one of my complaints about Inkscape was that it had object layers and it had layers layers. And that bugged me. Now that's fixed. Now we can move on and get over that. So thank you, Inkscape developers. So to get my layout, what I do is I have all my tools. I have all my tools over here. In the last couple of videos I did, I got rid of all my tools on the right hand side to make me have to go get them. Object layers now if you don't see your tool come up there one uh, one possibility is that you just need to grab this uh little grab it widget and pull it over so that is a possibility another possibility is think is still there uh i gotta remember it's been a long time so that might be it right there dialogue behavior docked or floating docked is this thing right here so if you don't see this toolbar over here i'm assuming it's because this right here yeah so anyway it'll be it'll be in there somewhere where it's you can have a toolbar either docked or floating you don't want floating you want docked unless you want floating i mean to get this you don't want floating so i have now it's layers and objects so if you haven't updated to the most recent and i'll bring this up again it's inkscape 1.2 is the version that i'm showing here that is the most recent version so layers and objects are together now and that'll be one tool and i'll do another tool that will probably be uh, a fill in stroke i'm in uh, ink stitch you're doing a lot of switching between fills and strokes so that would be another toolbar that i would have open in my case since i do a lot of uh, a lot of changes i'd go to file and document properties to change the size of my document 
and you can tell that that has changed a little bit now you notice this came up in a pop-up whereas it used to show up right here i can move that i'm going to grab this where it says document properties and it has an x on it you can grab that and you can put that right here same thing with fill and stroke. I can grab that, move it off, and now there's a pop-up for fill and stroke. It's actually kind of neat because I might just put my fill and stroke over here on my other screen that you can't see, and my fill and stroke would be over there, so I would just be able to go back and forth between it if I was doing a lot of switching back and forth sensitive stuff. So just grab it. You're not grabbing it by the, you're not grabbing it by the toolbar or the. Uh, title bar you're grabbing it by this folder file icon whatever it is so just throw it back over there and you could do that with all these now i have layers and fill and stroke and then i'm going to put them right back and i missed layers objects fill and stroke and document properties oh it's down here so i accidentally put it down here so I'm going to just move it back up here next to that one. So, a lot of lot of stuff you can do in in Inkscape, and that's moving those around like that. That's not new. In uh, 1.2, that's been like that for a while now. So, those are how I get my tools on the right hand side. And depending on your screen real estate size. You know, that, that depends on how much you've got going on over here. Anyway, uh, one of the other things, I'm, I'm not sure if this is new in 1.2, but something I've not addressed yet. When you, and the, the new thing in 1.2 is you got a color representation of when you select your color palette picker. You have a color color representation now of what it looks like and you can just kind of see a highlight ahead of time if you scroll all the way down to the bottom there is a button here configure so click that configure button and you get this little menu here you can change tile size make them really small make them really big and you can change the aspect to make it more shallow or more narrow and taller, which will fit a lot more in there. But you can also change the border so that make a bigger border. It's easier to select between them and you can change the number of rows so that all of my colors are now showing up down here in the bottom in five rows instead of one row that I have to scroll to get to the different colors. So that's handy. And you could do something like add more rows and then change the tile size, not tile size. That's not the one I meant. The aspect. You could change the aspect to be tall and skinny. And then now I can pick. Now I have them all on, on three rows instead of four or five. Set the aspect back to zero and then. It still takes up about the same amount of real estate either way. So that part doesn't matter so much, I guess. Uh, but that's how I set up my Inkscape for ink stitch purposes. And that's most of what I use ink for. Not strictly and solely, but most. And if you like what I do here, like and subscribe and make an old trucker happy. And so, until next time. Thanks for watching.